Hello everyone. You are watching this video means most probably you want to get success in psychology entrance exams or you want to be a successful psychologist. To get success, you must have a burning desire and hunger for success. You must be willing to do work hard and yes, never give up on your dreams. You must have a clear vision of where you want to go and there must be willingness to take the necessary steps to get success. Remember one thing, motivation comes from within. If you want to be a successful, so you have to take appropriate actions. You have to take responsibility of your success. So cultivate yourself from within. Surround yourself with positive influences. Seek out mentors and role models who inspire you and believe in yourself you will definitely get what you want. Today, we will be discussing the push and pull theory of motivation, which is an important topic for psychology entrance examinations. In this video, we will explore what the push and pull theory is, its components and its application in different contexts. So, let's begin. Before moving with the theory, I would like to present few questions that I found in entrance exams. Try to answer them. If you know the answer, that's good. And if you are confused and not able to answer, stay with the video. It will definitely help you to understand the concept and you will be able to answer by your own. And at the end, I will also reveal the answers. Question number one. This theory of motivation is associated with the idea that individuals have an innate drive to maintain a certain level of physiological arousal. Option A, pull theory. Option B, push theory. Option C, both theories. And option D, none of the above. Question number two. Rahul got bad result in semester exams and his father told him that if he did not improve his grades, then he would lose his car. Rahul began studying really hard and his grades improved. In the process, Rahul realized that he really enjoyed the feeling when he made good grades. He kept studying hard even after his grade had improved. Which of the motivation theories applies here? Option A, both. Initially, push theory, then pull theory. Option B, both. Initially, Pull theory, then push theory. Option C, push theory. Option D, pull theory. If you know the answer, that's good. If you are confused, then that's great because you will learn something new in this video. First of all, we will talk about push theory and then pull theory of motivation. Push theory explaining what we are motivated to make a change or go away from a painful and undesired state. People is highly motivated to make huge effort to avoid or reduce painful unwanted scenarios. We can take example. If person is hungry, this is painful and unwanted scenario. Then they want to come out from these situations. They are pushing things away that we don't want. It's a natural behavior for humans as well as animals. People can be highly motivated to make changes when they are unhappy, when they are unhappy with the current situation. So the push theory of motivation suggests that an individual's behavior is driven to avoid unwanted things. The push theory can be applied in different contexts, including education, sports, and businesses. In education, for example, teachers can motivate their students to study so they will not lose their rank 1 in the class. In sports, coaches can motivate their athletes to do more practice rather they will lose trophy and their title of winner. In business, Managers can motivate their employee to do something to avoid not getting promotion. Or employees are motivated to do hard work 
because if they will not achieve their target then they will lose their promotion so in post theory we are just trying to avoid unpleasurable and unwanted scenario now we can talk about pull theory according to this theory people are motivated by the desire to achieve a specific goal or outcomes according to pull theory people are motivated to do something because after completion of that particular task they will get positive outcomes like after a specific behavior or action people get personal satisfaction or recognition or reward like money praise promotion etc as pull theory the pull theory also can be applied in different contexts including as i told you education sports and business in education for example teachers can motivate their student to get rank medal in sports coaches can motivate their athletes by providing cue that trigger their desire to get trophy win rewards in businesses Managers can motivate their employees by tapping into their promotion as well as desire for recognition, achievement or autonomy. If we compare both the theories, we can say push theory works on drive principles and pull theory works on incentive principles. The pull theory is often contrasted with the push theory of motivation. Push theory suggesting that individuals are motivated by drives to avoid negative scenario while the pull theory suggesting that motivation is driven by a desire for positive outcome and rewards at the end i would like to mention one point that can make your understanding crisp and clear push theory of motivation simply means you are motivated to push something away from you whenever you are trying to push something away from you that will be the concept of push theory and pull theory suggesting that you are motivated to get something so whenever you are trying to get something that will be pull approach whenever you are trying to maintain distance from something whenever you are trying to go away from something that will be push theory of motivation In the beginning I presented the few questions let's see them again and try to answer them question number 1 which theory of motivation is associated with the idea that individuals have an innate drive to maintain a certain level of physiological arousal option a pull theory option b push theory option c both theories and option d none of the above this question is tricky correct answer is d none of the above in both push and pull theories we are trying to get something or avoid something as i explained we are not trying to maintain physiological arousal there are one theory we can call them arousal motivation theory they indicate that people act in a way to maintain their optimal level of physiological arousal so arousal theory is the right answer and that are not in option so d is the right answer question number 2 rahul got bad result in semester exams and his father told him that if he did not improve his grades then he would lose his car rahul began studying really hard and his grades improved in the process rahul realized that he really enjoy the feeling when he made good grades he kept studying hard even after his grades had improved which of the motivation theories applies here option a both initially push theory then pull theory option b both initially pull theory then push theory option c push theory option d pull theory correct answer is a this scenario illustrates the interplay between push and pull motivation theories initially rahul was motivated by push factor because there was threat of losing his car if he did not improve his grades this represents an external pressure that pushed him to study well 
and as Rahul began to experience the positive feeling associated with achieving good grades, he became motivated by pull factor, such as the intrinsic enjoyment and satisfaction he derived from learning and doing well in college. The push factor of external threat initially motivated Rahul, but the pull factor of intrinsic motivation sustained his effort over time. So the situation described here reflect both push and pull motivation theories. So correct answer is A. I hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of push and pull theory of motivation. I have already created several videos that are specifically focused on model questions for entrance exams. If you are interested to checking them out, I have included links to all of those videos in the description box below. If you have any query, don't hesitate to mention in comment box. Keep learning and be motivated. Bye. Thank you.